exceptions. You do facts. Yes, but you so are a political are party. Facts. You're so, not a court of law. So you he, are a political party. Perceptions are all powerful. No, facts to us. We are people of superior logic. We are not people of perceptions. We are people of superior logic. So I'm not going to go around because there's a perception about you. This is why society is driven to the types of ill behaviors that we see in relation to gender-based violence, in relation to xenophobia, because of perceptions. If we stick to the facts, a lot of us will be saved from a lot of attitudes that are baseless. So in relation to VBS, what are the facts? The facts are, whether you like it or not, I, we don't own a news station. We don't own a, a, a newspaper. So I can't write every day, every time Polyphan Vague, who has a personal vendetta against us, writes and makes percepts, perceptive links to the EFF without facts. I can't constantly, every day, make it my agenda. That's not okay. my agenda. Let's so what, is, the factual what are aspects the facts in the report? The facts in the report, there's no single leader of the EFF in the report. What Secondly, about members? There's no EFF what about members? in the report. But we've said this. We've said this in council. We've said this in parliament. We've said this in press conferences that we've held that if there are people, they be members of the EFF, they be cousins of members of the EFF, there must be criminal prosecution. And if you read, if you look at the liquidation processes that have been going on, those people are being held accountable. Brian Shivambo, for an example, has been uh, in pains to comply with the liquidators and their activities and their demands. The law is taking its course. But those who are criminally involved, we have done crime in relation to what happened in VBS. That doesn't include Brian, by the way. Those who have done crime, those who were in charge, who took decisions to deposit municipal funds there, who took decisions to award uh, irregular loans and so on and so forth. Those people are not known, number one. Number two, nothing is happening to them. And we've said over and over again that they must be held accountable. And none of them are EFF. None of them are cousins of the EFF. None of them are EFF leaders. None of them hold the membership of the EFF. They are either in the SACP or in the ANC. We unfortunately are out of time and we have to